Japanese versus Chinese on Arena. Well, the last time I saw a matchup like this, it was actually Japanese versus Ethiopia. Which is actually worse, I think, on Arena. Um, than versus Chinese. Still, though, Chinese are sick on Arena. Or sick compared to Japanese. I think what I should do is I should go Monks. Like Monk Spearman. I can't do that though. I suck with monks. I'm playing very slow right now as well, so I'm gonna skip that idea. Okay. Why are people scared of Chinese? Well, they have Siege Ram, we have Cap Ram. We get our Ballist, they get our Ballist. We get Halb, they get Halb. They get Siege Onager, we get Cap Ram. Neither of us have Bomber Cannon. They have better Cav. They start with more Vills. They have cheaper technologies than everything. They also have Chukunu. But yeah, basically they have way more options, they have better economy, and it's a campy map, right? So typically those things are going to matter a lot. They have a better, more versatile tech tree. Their weak, the only weaknesses for Chinese would probably be... Uh, hold on one sec. Uh, the one weakness for Chinese would just be they don't have redemption. Like a siege push could be. Unfortunately, I'm. It would depend on like how close we are, I think, and. I don't, I don't really have the skill set to go like punk pushes. I'm more the macro player. Like, I would prefer to have Chinese. I can't even keep my TC working with Japanese. Yikes. Oh, we're pretty close. Okay. Making me consider it. I think I should cons I think I should try it. Look how close we are. Chinese died to Siege Onagers? Yeah, something I don't have, right? Did get the first hit on me. Yeah, like Halbeso is really good against Chinese. Nah, not Tower Rush. Not Castle Drop either. いいよ、立てます。いいよ、立てます。何? 
Okay. I'm gonna try Monk Siege. Spearman Monk Siege. Definitely have to use the market a little bit. And add the barracks later, I think. Not going to be booming much this game. If Halbuso counters Chinese, is Koreans a good counter save? Actually, on Arena, yeah, for sure. I don't know about, like, counter save, but they're actually really good against Chinese. If they just go, like, for a boom. Like, it's actually a matchup, I think, where you don't even have to contest relics. If you have Koreans. Okay. Most of the relics are off to the left. Right, one more on gold. Definitely need more on wood. Definitely need wood. Okay, Loom's been clicked. I think two Spearmen's fine for now. If we can wait for him and block him. Oh. That was dead. I don't think we need Pike then. Oh, 
No kill. Are you kidding me? Okay, so what the arena players do here is they just like buy everything or sell everything they can for a castle. Buy all the food in the world. Kinda looks like that's what he's doing, to be honest. And he's got a really good map. He continues to buy food, you'll notice. Actually, try and push that. Because they're, they're together. I freaked him out a little bit at least. Monastery. Nine, 
car to get the castle up. And now he's imp. He like fast imped because he knew I would fast imp. <laughs> Which is wild. We gotta place our castle back. Let's go! Look at my food eco. It's glorious. That's a lot of light cap. I feel like we should wait. We gotta get those relics back. But I'm not sure we should actually push. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go for it. The relics have served us well. It's time to drop that castle. Oh. 
No way. I'm gonna try and convert his monks. What's happening? Maybe fletching would help. We clowning. I could be wrong, but I think with this score, we won the game. To honestly buy Bodkin. Oh, it's fletching. Okay. Look at this guy. He's insane. You don't have. Oh my god, we have so many monks. He didn't even, I didn't even know. This guy's a maniac. 
Maniac, maniac. GG, we clown the clown. <sighs> I've never felt so dead and won a game in my entire life. That's our MQ for you, though. So this was his main gold. So it was actually really intelligent play from him to drop the castle, I think. So here's where it gets tricky, right? We're far apart. I think he can just go like have, and then he can he can run around me, and he can go for the eco approach. Uh, not that he typically goes for the eco approach, but yeah, I think that that's basically what he could do. Um, if he, so with that build there, because we're up really fast. What was our castle time? 1349. So with that up time and him scouting what we're doing, it's really hard for him. I, I still think full like have could work because I suck, but he like put so much weight in that working, I think, because he's really good at it. Um, I didn't have to make too many spearmen, and then he went for the castle drop. And so here, I'm trying to think this through, right? Because he drops the castle, right? He, we did force him to drop two more towers by trying to push that way. So that kind of delays his eco. His food eco was amazing. This game. Um, what was the bill high? Okay, so we actually had fewer bills as well, which is. He has to go fast imp after dropping the castle, though, because he knew, like, I don't know if you guys noticed when I was going to the market, but he was buying it first. So he was buying food. He he did the right thing. Um, I think I could have gone for a few more monk upgrades. I think I could have gotten, like, fletching, bodkin on towers a little bit faster, things like that. But it's really tricky to get that in the time. Uh, it's really tricky to get the timing right on that stuff. That's arena for you. Like, <laughs> Oh, you see what I mean when I say I shouldn't go monks? <laughs> well, look, this is hilarious. <laughs> he converted 49 units. He's insane. He's an insane monk player. If the roles were reversed and it's this map, I think I'm super dead against Japanese because, again, like, I think he, he with those conversions, there's no way I could ever contest him. Yeah, he was even going underneath my towers and stuff as well. GGGG, -G -G, that's how we clown, baby. It was almost 2k3. It's amazing what a good clown can do with ELO. 19 puntos. I'll take it, I'll take it.